gentlemen, what is going on? I should probably speak into the microphone. Welcome to today. It is March 27th, and uh, I'm really excited to get a chance to talk to uh, the one and only Matt O'Keefe again. We're going to be talking about um, a really, really cool project that uh, they're putting together to you know, really support the community in this weird, strange times that we're in. So why beat around the bush? Let's go ahead and uh, and just get in on this action. O'Keefe, what is going on, man? How are you? My, my man, how are you, Armin? Great to see you again. Uh, I'm good. I'm, I'm uh, six days. I, I'm, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't been out. You just saw me out about 10 minutes ago. That was the first time I've been out of my house in six days. Um, but things are good. I'll be honest with you, uh, Dylan kind of tried to throw you under the bus. He was like, uh, yeah, O'Keefe went down to go get some uh, Slurpees and a Slim Jim. So, I yeah, I'm like, I'm talking like powdered donuts and uh, sour cream and onion chips. Like shit's getting real over here. Hell yes. <laughs> Hell yes. It's like it's it's quarantine. Uh, it's it's quarantine uh, like nutrition time. You know, maybe yeah, maybe allowed, don't miss right? it. You can eat whatever you want in quarantine. That's yeah, the way it works. yeah. I think I think once it's over, uh, none of those pounds count. It's oh, just good. It's just to uh, hold you to that. I did the Norwegian throwdown workout, the living room throwdown workout last night, which was the most awful workout in history. Thirty air squats and ten burpees for ten rounds for time. Woof. Barely walk, and um, you know I'm getting my fitness in, so I'm now allowed to eat whatever I want. I think that's how it works. Yeah, my my wife and I have been working out way way more than we usually would, just because we're stuck at home and we have like a bunch of stuff in the garage. So we've been getting after it, including a couple of days ago we did ten minutes of just walking lunges. We just like lunged the cul de sac for oh, ten wow. minutes, and it it's been miserable. It's been like two days of like don't touch me, don't don't look at my legs, don't don't go anywhere near my legs. Like just just let me let me survive this <laughs> oh, man, that sounds terrible well you know it's a hashtag quarantine rabdo you need it that's, that's through, right right <laughs> that's right uh so dude listen we spoke last week we talked a little bit about you know some of the the uh you know things that were going on in the space and with your events and a lot has changed just like we predicted you know things are moving 100 miles an hour so a lot has changed in the past uh, a past week and we've seen even more events postponed and we've seen even more things go down but one of the coolest things that i think has happened over the past week is that we've been involved you and uh, you know I've, I've kind of popped in here and there to to help wherever i can but you've spoken to a whole bunch of different brands events athletes content creators media people about this uh this whole you know united and movement thing right so Give me, give me the elevator pitch. What is this? What is it that people are going to be looking forward to? I don't know if I can do it justice in that short of a time, right? It's, um, it's been like, it, honestly, it's been one of the most uplifting weeks of my entire life, uh, because it's, you know, quickly from, uh, you know, a knee jerk sort of hot as, uh, loud and live sports, raise money and support affiliates, gyms, people in need. We want hashtag HWPO. There you go. There it um, is. how do we, um, how do we, how do we do more and get people to move? And, you know, how do we get, you know, uh, take what we do to, to the world right now in a time that really we seem most relevant when people are stuck inside and the really only thing they could probably do for themselves on the daily is get themselves to sit down and stand up a bunch and get their heart rate up a little. Right. Yeah. So we got like super dreamy and delusional, which, you know, I love the team that I roll with and then this community, cause we do that really well. Like we chase big, 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 you know, uh, what do they call them? Unicorns, you know? So it's like been a uh, snowball into what now is going to be called United in Movement, uh, which, you know, will be out there today um, on unitedinmovement.org and, and at United in Movement on Instagram um, is is just going to be a, a, a platform that will unite, inspire, and, and support um, people through, you know, either funds um, or the, the opportunity for them to, you know, work out with people really see people work out get educated on working out or uh, aggregate um, in workouts that are going to be produced daily so that people can then you know compete or <clears throat> at least just be a part of a, a community doing the same thing at the same time every day right yeah uh, we're gonna launch next friday the third uh, live for 24 straight hours on youtube with a broadcast uh, and all the fun people that you've you know, as, you know, either CrossFit fitness enthusiasts, you'll even see some things outside from just the fitness world, sports world, 
I uh, will go 24 hours and um, entertain you and do workouts with you, announce workouts, um, you know, and just have a ton of fun and offer an opportunity to, you know, donate if you can on the, the YouTube stream and then join the, the leaderboard or just board we're calling. Like it'll be as little as you just check in a box saying you did the workout, right? It doesn't have to be score-based. Um, and then raise money for seven days and finish with a bang with a big opportunity to raise some money. And dude, just like put the, all the cool people like yourself together to in a common cause. That's what's like literally fueled my week. I don't need caffeine or anything right now. I just need people like you that have literally just got on calls with had calls with hundreds of brands, tons of media people, hundreds of athletes, you know, anybody you can think of event organizers and everybody to a T 100% has said, let's go, you know, and boy, you know, like that's how our community rolls. So it's, um, we're going and hard and fast and we're going to go really hard on Monday with this like a earthquake approach on social where everybody's going to try to bounce this at once I've said fire festival many times, people <laughs> laugh their butt off, but it's similar just, you know, with some information in that brand that, you know, this community created United in movement. It's a brand, it's got a logo. We've got companies already talking about expressing it and in, in, through their products, like the, 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 the speed at which it, people work in this community and then the snowball and is crazy man like we got shoes coming out you know not to tip anything like we got crazy stuff going on and it's agnostic by the way like every like competing brands are all jumping together for a common cause and we're gonna raise millions i know it like man the goal i you know dylan keeps trying to reel me in so that i don't disappoint myself but we're gonna do it we're gonna raise millions of people in their soul and, and you know and, and get them moving and we're going to raise millions of dollars and support people hell yeah man I, I love the i love like the uh uh the the dream big like just wide-eyed optimist ready to get after it type type situation and like you know i've i've i participated in a couple of those calls with a few different brand like you know I, I was in on the on the brand call i was in on the creator's call uh you know we were talking about you know how how it can function even before all that stuff occurred and you know, to me, someone who does some like live streaming on YouTube, the idea of pulling off like a 24 hour live telethon thing with a bunch of different people around the world chiming in at different points, that's that alone is like a huge undertaking. And the fact that you're starting it off there to like kick off this big week long sort of celebration slash community like organization, like fire festival thing is is see it has both a positive and a negative spin right like the positive side is like fire festival immediately grabbed everyone's attentions by the balls and just like held them over the fire right but then yep. it it didn't quite pan out right so we're gonna ignore <laughs> we're gonna ignore the back <laughs> half of it <laughs> we're, 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 we 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 like to execute over here in this world right so yeah, yeah no, i get that we're gonna deliver you know the, the deliver you know that's why you know the, the the true essence of this is whether you whether it's your time um you as a person so it's people whether it's promotion you know off from your tools or just you know word of mouth you know within your circles um product if you're a brand or money if you're a person or a brand i don't care how you do it each of those things are equally uh diamonds gold in this right so it's it's just about getting in, like, don't not get in. I don't care if you got a dollar or you, you know, I, it doesn't, it does not matter. Like it's just participating, moving in, um, you know, I, I would love, I love it. You know, you know, the dreams of like seeing it, you know, millions on a tote board, like that can all happen if we just do these things together. Cause in the end, really what the goal is, is there are a lot of people in shitty situations right now that need help. You know, I said uh, many times, like I walk through a gym door and it's literally now given me everything that I associate with and relationships and I've risen, raised my kids in a CrossFit gym. Um, you know, I, I, I have what I do today because I walk through the doors of an affiliate, right? So um, how the hell could I sit back knowing I have the opportunity to, to help that and not do it? You yeah, know? That's, that's me and how I feel. And that's how every one of you have felt on that call because you can relate to that, right? Like of course. you do what you do today, primarily because, you know, you decided to go like, you know, rip it up, you know, doing a workout in a CrossFit gym. And now all of a sudden, you know, you got a great platform and you're having fun and you're doing what you love. 
man, I'm really grateful for that to CrossFit, you know, for, you know, what they've done and what they've grown and to like, you know, what all of you and, you know, what, who have believed in anything I've done. And it's, you know, I, I'm super grateful for all that. So you got to give back. Like that's a really, to me, a requirement. Of course, of course. And I think that's, that's one of the things that a lot of people can probably relate to in some way, shape or form is this idea that like, Hey guys, we're all, we're all pretty hard hit by this. I mean, this isn't, there's nobody who is, you know, spared some effect in their life financially, personally, uh, you know, their health wise or whatever, because of what's going on. Like this is a worldwide thing and CrossFit affiliates all over the place are, you know, both like struggling and also being super creative and coming up with ways to still serve their community and, and bring everything, you know, the, the value that they provide still to the table. And, you know, I was trying to rack my brain, like how best can I help people out? How can I, you know, just do something to, to help people out. And like, I'm a hundred percent all in, in, you know, being a part of, of this, right. Of being, uh, at least one small voice in trying to get people to understand like, Hey guys, we're trying to do something really cool and this is going to bring a lot of people together. We're going to raise a lot of money. That money's going to be, you know, it's going to be spread out across the people who need it the most, whether it's, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it's like, whether you're a business or an individual, whether it's like a health issue or a financial issue, whether it's like, you know, whatever it is, there's going to be uh, some way of it getting around to, to as many people as possible. Um, that and was, spreading the love. Is- that's a really good point too, because I want that to be clear, and and we're, you know, going to be very specific on that through the website and the information. Yeah, we want to paint um, a broader brush with th- these things, and yeah, we like a very big chunk of that is you know gym driven, you know, you know affiliate driven. Like we want people to, um, you know, benefit from that because we've benefited from it. And then there's you know relief efforts out there that need support or begging for money, like. You know, uh, you know, it's, um, you know, and then there's people, right? We've had a person in our space specifically that's passed away recently that's a judge that's like very sanctional um, related, you know. So we're going to try to like endow a scholarship in his side of things to, to support judges. And we, we're we um, not all over the place. We're just, you know, want to raise as much as possible. And there's so many great ideas. We want to try to touch as many of them as we can. Uh, so, yeah, the money's all going to really great causes and great places to support a lot of people in need through this terrible situation and it's it's going to be a relatively sort of limited uh like the engagement at least like this this sort of we're looking at about a week right or like eight days like this really intense week of you know this is what we're doing here's how it's going to look and and we're all going to be in it together over the course of these seven days right yeah, and that's the, the the point. It's just, you know, let, let's be present, get people to move. A, you know, I think it's springboard, you know, hopefully, you know, activity in ca- captivity, right? It's like one of these scenarios where it's, you know, t- you know, those who don't necessarily associate with more of the micro, you know, community we we live in can learn how to do it for the, you know, foreseeable that they may be stuck in the home. And yeah, be impactful and present for a short period of time. And you know, and have fun together, you know, like just have a fun doing fitness and fundraising. Like that's really it in the end. It's just, you know, we always have a blast. We go to events together. We go to the games, we go to Wadapalooza, we celebrate online through the open. Uh, There's all kinds of ways to go about it. Right. And and we just want to do a real short, you know, hammer. And, you know, I think from our perspective, we have a unique opportunity because we like, you know, certainly from event organizers and even just what we do at, at Loud and Live is, is we have hundreds of brands that are a part of five events. You know, we're, you know, we're, we're calling in all our chips on these things and just saying, hey, can you help? Like, this is a good time to help. And I think we have a unique ability to aggregate a group like that, right? So, um, yeah, I mean, it's just fun for seven, seven, eight days there. Uh, you know, I'm sure we're stressing out broadcast people and um, everybody, you know, just with these dreamy ideas, right? And it's like, I, you know, it's awesome. They're, they're figuring it out though. Right. It's like, Hey guys that are on the broadcast side there, it's like, Hey, we're, we're going to go live for 24 hours. When are we going to do this next Friday? You're going to do what? And yeah. you're going to bring people in from all over the world. And it's like, yep. Yeah. Yeah. Just, yeah. Cool. I'm going to go talk to a bunch of people about this. So you got that right. Cool. Good. Let's do it. So. I love it because at the end of it, it's going to be, you know, by the time the the week or the eight days or whatever is over, you're going to look back and you'll be like, man, 
that's crazy that we got all that done. And then you're going to take a second and you're going to think, we definitely could have done a little bit more. Like it, it's, it's a hundred percent because it's the, it's the cro- It's like the, it's like, that's the mindset, right? The mindset is like, man, I don't know if I'm going to make it through this crazy, whatever workout day event. And then by the time it's over, you're like, I probably had a little bit, like I could have squeezed a little bit more out of that. And then, so like the next time anything like this has to happen, I think there's, there's going to be, you know, a ton of interesting little things that you're going to be able to, to learn from and, and do down the line. And I'm curious you know, if we break down sort of what it is people can expect, right? So we start off with uh, a 24 hour sort of like telethon esque feel uh, thing going on, live stream on YouTube, a uh, bunch of different personalities and shows and little things going on across that 24 hours. Uh, and that leads directly into the first uh, w- announced workout, which would be what, Saturday night, I guess that would be the, yeah, the workout. Yeah. So, so, yeah. So we'll have. Uh some really cool group of athletes, a couple athletes, you know, live from maybe one location, depending on who can be with each other, uh, that will, you know, be a very impactful drop of workout one. Yeah. And, um, you know, and we'll, that'll be the launch into what will become then the daily scenario, which, um, you know, is pretty fleshed out at this point, but I think we'll use YouTube for that like big piece. And then we'll go to Instagram live for these, you know, uh, daily segments. Um, it, listen, it's like, you know, we're going to try to produce it at the highest level we can in the 24 hours. I think we've got a, a great structure and, and a lot of people in place to, to be able to do it that are donating their time and their efforts. Um, and then daily, I think we'll be, you know, we'll allow people to take it to a little bit of a more organic play and talk through it. And, you know, there's a way we can, you know, batch some people in to talk on those dailies, but those dailies are more like a couple hour op- opportunity of presence. We'll use these, these front bookends and these front and back bookends to, you know, do some cool stuff. Like you should host a game show, like, like legit, like we should do stuff like that. We're talking about it. It's like, how about jeopardy with like Matt, Pat and Brent, you know, um, you know, things like that, that I think will be some fun filler stuff. Uh, while also getting people to move every hour for that 24 hours, you know? Sure. And I think the, I think there's, there's a lot of really interesting things that like, you know, with, with that concept of like, you know, a big giant kickoff and then each day sort of checking in. So you base, you're basically going to get like a new workout to do each day. You can do it that day, or you can like wait and do a bunch of them in one day. You just have like the entire time to sure. get your scores in. You can keep repeating workouts if you want. If like the leaderboard is that important to you, you know, like are, how how can people like? I think that's the closest thing that people can compare this to is like an online qualifier or the open or something, but just super condensed, like just sh- sh- rammed sure. into one week, right? Yeah, that's it. It's um, and I and I like you know I think this has been like this ongoing conversation with people that are like do, do, doing a lot of the work on it behind the scenes is being cautious to not like to be because the idea was to like be as broad as possible right so it's like don't look at it like you know you're going to look at the open per se and get nervous about your workouts because you know and be like oh god i'm on display and all this other stuff check a box on the leaderboard that says you did the workout like who cares like just participate in this but yes they you know dump a bunch of workouts over the course of that week every night and then just throw all your scores in or check your boxes by the end of the week and show you you were part of it it's like you know i believe it's a badge at this point it's you know just saying like hey i participated in this i helped someone you know so and you know uh work out and have a blast doing it and you'll be able to ride a board that people will participate and compete because quite frankly there'll be a competitive element to it you know um you know for instance you know the and it'll be flushed out completely uh, by Monday with the launch, but you know, like German uh, athletes will be able to get German seats to the German to the German throwdown. You know, um, you know that was very important to some of the events that were involved. Was like, hey, I'm from Australia, I don't want you know people from the U.S. to be the only ones that qualify or just be this top heavy leaderboard. How can we just have Australians do it? So you know, there's going to be all kinds of opportunities to do that. You know, so uh, competition corner is aggregating the leaderboard or board tote board you know to do both you know compete and participate i'm a participate same you, you, you're a compete no 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 no. <laughs> but we the, the nice part is you and i can compete which That's is right. the fun part about what we do is and we'll do that like you know we should have things like where it's like you and lafranco and tommy will all get our ass kicked by tommy but we should be doing these workouts and saying you know 
on nightly or, you know, when we finish, be like, you know, how many did O'Keefe win and you win? Like, that's the fun stuff with this. Like, I miss that, um, you know, part of being so now involved in fitness and not doing enough fitness. Like, that to me is like what we really bought into daily when we walked into the gym the first time. I was like, I wanted to kick Mike Dudevar's ass in the workout. <laughs> was my buddy from the swamp that was like what you know that was fun i compete i love that right we get yeah. to do that yeah. from home who are who are some of the uh who are some of like you know the the athletes or brands or whatever that you're you're excited about having on board here because i i've heard you talk i've heard you Oof. talk some talk about some big names both in and out of the the crossfit space i'm curious to see what what you got going on yeah let's see uh if you know I can, you know, really do this justice because it's <laughs> wild. Right. And you've heard like, we've, um, you know, I mean, you name a brand and it's there, like, you know, it's like on, on that call was, you know, Reebok, Nike and Noble, you know, and on, uh, that call was Ramwad and go on. And, you know, it's like, you think of something that you like, you know, and there's like a competitor to that. They're all diving in to help you know protein brands or you know they're all in you know the first forms the ascents like all these guys are just like hey what the hell do you need so that i can help you know um i'm excited about them all i don't care who you are and what you're doing if you can contribute to this as a brand and you hadn't been on that call because there were like hundreds um you know get in that that I, those are my tote boards right now like you these people are filling out jot forms that are populating to a google sheet and i'm going in there and i'm like wow this is just so cool like people are just donating you know a hundred thousand dollars in product to to help to give away to people through raffles so that part's amazing um the you know obviously on the media front all of you guys are just like hey we're in we're gonna you know be a part of it and it, it, it's all of it and it's like you know you know it, it you know it's I mean, you and Morning Chaco, I don't want to miss anything. It's just like, you know, I talked to the guys from Bar Ben today. David Tao is going to help. You know, they're not as much dedicated to the space as some of you guys are. But like they're, you know, I've talked to ESPN. I have a buddy who's a producer at ESPN um, that produced some really cool stories that the world knows about. And I was like, dude, we're, I'm thinking crazy. Like we're doing this awesome, cool thing. Can you, uh, can you guys get us on Sports Center? And he's, he's like, whoa, are you crazy? And I'm like, no, but like, I'm watching you put juggling on. Yeah, man. Sports what Center. else are you going to talk about? Yeah, what's that? It's like, what else, what else are you going to talk about on sports? I Center? know. That's no why sports. I was like, I got content for you right now, man. It's my pretty face. No, um, <laughs> but the, uh, for on the athlete front, I think that's like what people will just be impressed with. Like who cares about fitness? Um, and you know what else they do, but like, you look at like, Max Greenfield, you know, neighborhood and this is us. Is that the one? This is us. I don't know. I, I, I know. He, I just know the name. I know he's, I know he's like a famous actor. Yeah. And An he's going to come. He, he, we're going to get him to do stuff. And, um, you know, you know, I've talked to boss Everline, you know, for those of you who don't know, boss is his own business and personality and very well for a million followers, but boss also trains a lot of the stars in the world and particularly Kevin Hart. Um, I, I want him to come on and he's literally, these guys are all just saying like, yes, but most, you know, like, you know, all the people we know and love, like, I, I don't want to not mention that cause they're the, they're, they seem so automatic, especially coming from someone like me. Cause they, you know, are so personal to me, but like Matt and Katrin and Tia and Annie and, you know, go down the list, Brent, Pat, Cole, I'm telling you, like, if you know, a games athlete, they like, I was on a call with the athletes the other day. And it was like, if you're a CrossFit geek, like I think you, some of you saw what I posted the photo of and tagged those names. It was like awesome. Cause yeah. it was just like, Kristen Clever is one of the first people I laid eyes on in CrossFit through ESPN. You know, she's there, Rebecca Voigt, you know, and all the way to the, now the people today. And it, it was just like a trip down memory lane. And they all just, because they, they know we care as a group and when we do, and they all want to do things together to support each other. And they're just all diving in. Like, you know, Annie sent the message about Hathor. Um, she's going to try to get in touch with him. And by the way, he's friends with these guys, like Matt's friends with them. You know, they, I'm sure he'll dive in. He just needs to get the information, you know, and it's, um, you know, uh, I, you know, I'm reaching out to anybody that, you know, it's funny. I, we met street bike, Tommy, do you know, uh, nitro circus? Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 So the, the, this is one of Pastrana's guys. Like I'm, sending him a message and i'm sure that once i get to him he'll dive in because he's a guy that um is now crossfitting you know it's uh 
we spread out, we cast the, the widest net, this fight club sort of scenario. It's everybody knows somebody that does this. Like I, you know, I'm, I'm going to hit, you know, Matt and Tim Hasselbeck up. Don Hasselbeck, their father is one of the trailblazers in the industry uh, on the business side. You know, he was a Reebok guy that signed rich. Um, and, you know, I've known him a long time. Great guy. Um, Matt and Tim are people that I played sports with in college. I, they're teammates of mine and friends. And, you know, I have personal connection through my wife who's friends with Elizabeth, Tim's wife. You know, we're going to just try to grab as many of those people as possible and throw them in so that, um, you know, we can unite not only our world, but others, you know, I, you know, uh, anyone. And, and, and by the way, if, you know, it's um, Steph Cohen um, is a really good point out. Steph's the best female powerlifter in history. Steph's going to come on and do something. Yeah. You know? And Steph started that in CrossFit, by the way, too. She walked into a gym in, in Miami and, and then it became so she has an affiliate story. Right. Uh, yeah. So, man, I could go on for days. I don't want to bore you or anybody. No, else, no, man. It's going to be it. amazing if I, you know, I want to watch it. That's yeah. all for you. Yeah. I just love I just love the idea that, like, you know, a lot of people are probably either a little bit bummed about how how you know their circumstances are right now or uh trying to like questioning how best they can either get out of the funk or help other people get out of the funk and i think it's it's really easy to get lost in that sort of like a swamp that like quagmire of like what do i do how do i do this was like this is it like this is the thing everyone is going to participate in this it's like a week you know we're going to be uh in everyone's faces really, really aggressively, you know, telling them about it and getting, getting people involved and participating. So, right. you know, it, it, it's really interesting to just offer, like, here's a guiding light, like here's just something to participate in and something to, and it's not even like an exclusive thing, right? Because you don't, you don't have to only do this. You can right. participate in like whatever you want. This is just one that's bringing in a ton of different people from a ton of different places, you know, cause that's, that's it. Right. Yeah. And we just I mean, saw I, you don't even, you don't even you don't even need me here. Like <laughs> he's like you're asking me to say these things and I'm not. And Kristen and Dylan are on the other side. Like O'Keefe, you know Armin's got this. You don't. So. <laughs> no, but true. Like that that piece of it for me, um, you know, was I think what became most apparent and important was inclusivity rather than exclusivity. You know, I've used on those calls and you've heard it like the agnostic word. It's like. I just want it, like it, I, I've said in all those calls, it didn't matter what language you spoke, what religion you were, where you lived, uh, you were united, um, unfortunately, right now in a, in a common situation and cause, one, this devastation globally, and it's you know, nobody's immune to it, and B, you're all stuck in your house for, and if you're not, by the way, it's coming, I promise you. Um, and so that we have a unique opportunity to speak to uh, everybody, all 8 billion people in the world can speak our language, which is, hey, by the way, sit down and then stand back up and do it 100 times. Um, and I guarantee it'll make you feel better. That was the now approach to it. It's like, why would we ever want to be about one thing when we could affect so many more people than just that small? And we can still accomplish, by the way, something really important to all of us, which is you know, raising some money for people that are even in that micro climate category that really need some help, you know? Yeah, so. absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, you know, I, we just saw, you know, there's been, there's been both like characteristic silence and also like characteristic action out of HQ. You know, last night we saw HQ talk about, um, you know, they, they sent out a, a, in the e daily email, they sent out this thing about they're going to do a, an online competition or like leaderboard open type thing uh, with all the money going to the affiliates in some way. And they're like pausing the affiliate um, payments like, you know, is there a relationship between what you guys are doing and what HQ is doing? Like, is it like is there something going on there? Have you guys like talk to each other? What, what does that look like? Yeah, we have, we have a little bit and, and, um, you know, quite frankly, it, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, everybody should be doing anything they can, you know, um, because, you know, and I know what's important to CrossFit HQ is their affiliates and because that's, you know, their business and their, you know, their partners and they want to rally around that and their form. And yeah, we've talked, I mean, you know, who knows, you know, maybe there's an opportunity for us to to link these things somehow together. I do know that what we're going to do is contribute some money to what they're 
primarily going to raise some money for right and to me and to you and to everybody else that's all that matters you know there's nothing else to it than we want to do something really good for people that need something and um you know, I guess, you know, how people express that we as a group are choosing to express it this way. And uh, we're trying to gather as many people into it. And it's CrossFit's a component of it. Powerlifting is a component of it. Football is basketball. Like, honestly, it's if you can move, you can do this. Um, so yeah, I mean, you know, I obviously we don't know much more about it publicly. But yeah, we, we've definitely talked a little um, and communicated. And you know, maybe there's ways to link them up. I do know the one way we'll definitely link up as well support um that fine you know that that group of people financially sure that they are as well to help yeah i mean it it it, the to me the situation reads as like a bunch of different people trying to do uh whatever their angle is towards the same end right so at the end of the day it's like all the rivers are gonna pour right into the sea so it's going to go to the same place. It's going to help the affiliates. It's going to help people. It's going to help, you know, everyone that's sort of struggling um, it, during this like very strange and weird time that we live in in this world. And like, you know, if it's through that competition or online thing or it's through this one or it's through both or it's like one feeding into another or people participating in both, like the the same uh, the same sort of mindset applies of like, you know, your gym might be closed down but if you can do it you should still be trying to you know support them as best you can through tough times like the same way that they have been for you and the same thing here it's like well now you have different options and you can do one or both or you know the other it doesn't really make a difference because at the end of the day the goal is to just get people doing things for this end result that's like what we're all trying to get it's you know we 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 all together built this independent brand that you know is again independent and um you know, inclusive. And that's really the genesis of it is united in movement. And it's, um, and it's forward together is the hashtag that will come out of this. It's, you know, and the, and the logo has arrows in it. And it's like about going in the right direction as one unit, right? And trying to help each other out. So yeah, I mean, let's have a blast. Let's raise a ton of money, like in the end. And, you know, let's do it all together. And, you know, um, point it in the right direction, you know, Breathe heavy, get your, you know, get your heart rate up a little bit, you know, so that you, know, you stay sane, you're better dad, mom, employee, you know, through the video conferences now, like, you know, I know I'm a better person, um, you know, because I work out and I take care of myself from a health perspective. And I think, you know, there's an opportunity for us because that's not, there isn't seven or 8 billion people that experience that on a daily basis to touch a larger audience and show them why we feel like we're, we're better at our day. We're better um, every moment of our day because we do do that. And we make that a very important part of what we do. That's the win here. It really is in the, in the end. And um, you know, let's help some people in the process all together. I love it, Matt. That's, that's super dope. And uh, I just want to put it out there that there has never been and never will be a situation in which Justin LaFranco of the morning chalk up beats me in a series of workouts. It'll never happen. <laughs> And it never has happened. At best, he's tied me in the open. At best, he has really? tied I didn't, me in you're the open. That, you're that. The, no. Lofranco stands I'm no dressed. chance. Lofranco stands no chance. I don't know about Tommy. Tommy's a real hoss. Tommy can take me down, I think. But you know, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy's Tommy's like bordering elite, right? And, he's and, he's good, man. He's good. And I will also say that, you know. I mean, maybe what's stuck in my brain is, is LaFranco probably, I associate him with Tommy because he talks so much smack around the open every year. But what I forget is, is he loses every work. He was working. That's too. right. So, that's right. Tom, yeah. J- Justin talks so much to, he just like, he is, he like yap, 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 and does not back it up at all with any of his performances. And he, you, you know, you know, he's going to do, I'll tell you exactly what he's going to do. He's going to bring up like the four open workouts that he's beat me at. And it's, it's going to be like, <laughs> Okay, great. You've beat me in a couple workouts here and there, but let's look at the body of work and let's be let's be real clear here. Let's be real clear here. You never know happen, that never ri- rivalries require both sides to win, so it needs to be a back and forth. It's not a rivalry if one side's winning everything. So there's no rivalry with him and Tommy, and then it sounds like there's no rivalry with you and him because you just win every workout. So. That's right. That's right. I like this challenge. This will be something I think everybody should watch through this is what goes on with you two team Armin team LaFranco. And I've been, I mean, uh, I play, I play sinister games. I, I allow him to sort of get his hopes up 
I like, you know, tell him how fat I am and how little I'm working out. And then, you know, he'll do a bunch of push ups and show off and stuff. And it's like, still doesn't matter, dude. Still doesn't matter. I've got it and you don't. That's what that's what the facts of the matter is. I like being uh, people call me sneaky fit a lot. I like being sneaky fit. Sneaky look, fits you, my life, dude. Look unfit, but be fit. Yeah, that's my entire that's like my entire brand. I've got sneaky fit like written all over the place out here. It's like I my entire know. life. Ha- hashtag sneaky fit. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Hell yeah. Okay. Well, dude, I'm super pumped about it. I'm excited to, uh, you know, as more information comes out, uh, you know, you guys will share it. I'll share it. I'll be talking about this over the next week. Um, you know, I'm sure that we're going to find some really cool, you know, new things that are going to be happening. And, and as more opportunities come for people to, to, uh, you know, help however they can. And this is coming up like super, super soon. Like we're talking about, this is launching next week, a week from today, week from today, we would be like three and a half hours from going live next week, Friday. So this is, this is going hard and fast. It's the only way we know how to move and it's fine. We're going to. Listen, go follow United in Movement on Instagram, right? And go to the website and get information, unitedinmovement.org. And, um, you know, and hashtag forward together. That's like, that's where we're, that's where we're going to live. And uh, let's get after it. Seriously, do you, you want, you, you know, this community loves to show um, strength in, you know, in numbers and how we go about things. And it's now is a good time for us to, you know, we would like blindly defend each other when like the outside world comes in and tries to, like, let's, let, let's, let, let's let some more people in and, and uh, let's raise a ton of money and have fun. I love it. Thanks. O'Keefe. Really appreciate your time, man. And, uh, and we will catch up very soon. I'm sure. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate all your help too. Absolutely, man. See you Thanks, soon. Man.